Tolerance is often associated with a physical dependence. Physical dependence is when the body gets so used to having a medication around that it needs to have that medication to function normally. And if you deprive the body of that medication, if you st stop taking it suddenly, you start to develop a sickness syndrome. And the sickness syndrome is called withdrawal. Withdrawal syndrome can be variable depending on which medication you have been on and have reduced or stopped taking. The withdrawal syndrome is masked or avoided by continuing to take the medication. A withdrawal syndrome typically occurs within about two weeks of reducing or stopping a medication. Often the symptoms of a withdrawal syndrome are the opposite to the clinical effects of a given medication. For example, with the opioid medications, the withdrawal is typically associated with increase in pain levels, stomach upset including cramps, nausea and diarrhea, excessive sweating and shaking, body getting used to having reduced exposure or an absence of that medication. Withdrawal symptoms will eventually pass, but it can be quite an uncomfortable experience for the individual. Many people who take medications for pain have had times when they have run out of a script or have been in a situation where they can't get access to the medications they would normally take. So many of you will have experienced some of these withdrawal symptoms from time to time and it's worthwhile reflecting back on times that you may have had these experiences and make sure that you clearly associate those with reduced access to your medications. It's important because the issues of tolerance, dependence and withdrawal go hand in hand with the long-term use of medications for chronic pain. For patients who continue to use medications for chronic pain, you must accept that these are likely to be part of your clinical syndrome. It means that at any time that you don't have access to the medications that you're using for pain control, you're at risk of developing withdrawal symptoms. This in turn makes you dependent on that medication to ensure that you don't get unwell. As part of the pain management program, we encourage and facilitate medication reduction and ideally medication cessation to shift people away from this dependence on medication. Thank you.